What's going on you guys? This is Max Kid. Yeah, I have another HP Elite 8200. This is the convertible MIDI tower. Uh, this video is going to be uh, two down. I'll show you how to do that. So you're going to move the side cover panel. And what you need is a uh, Torx T15 screwdriver, uh, probably flathead screwdriver and uh, Phillips screwdrivers for to remove the rear system fan. So I'm going to start off from the back. So you're gonna disconnect the 92 millimeter fan. Now we're gonna use a uh, Torx T15 screwdriver. They're gonna remove the four screws here in the back and the power supply. If you don't have a Torx T15 screwdriver, you could just use a flathead. Perfectly fine. See the flathead screwdriver works fine also. Now I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the power and save the cable from the hard drive. And there's a little clip right here, you press on like this and the hard drive slides up like this. Now what you're going to do is uh, remove the disconnect uh, SATA and power cable from the optical drive. Remove the front cover basil. To do that, there's little clips right here. It's generally your finger like this. Lift them up and they come out. It slides like this. Now, there's a little clip right here. You press on up like this and optical drive will slide to the right. Gotta zoom out the camera a little bit. Okay, so now disconnect the uh, four pin for the CPU power. And it's got a little secure clip that you press on right here to release the lock. Same with the six pin right here, the power. There's a front panel switch right here for the power, power LED, hard drive LED, USB ports, it's got the USB header, this is right here, now you can disconnect the SATA right here, the SATA cables, and it looks like the audio right here, this one, the cable over here at the disconnect. And looks like an internal speaker. It's in the bottom right here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just remove the internal speaker right here. And it looks like it's got two screws, hold by the two screws right here. So you have to remove one in the corner and one in the bottom. Comes out. And I'm gonna at the same time is gonna remove right here the USB 
an audio on the front right here and it's got a one screw it's hold by So the power switch and the power LED with the plastic, if you guys can see, and it's go by the plastic clip also. So you press on right here at the top and it comes out. Now I'm going to remove the power supply to do that, there's a little secure clip, you press on like this, the screwdriver, and it should slide out to the right. I'm going to go remove the memory. Now I'm going to go remove the CPU cooler, it's got two screws here in the top, two in the bottom. Now you're going to disconnect the CPU fan. And it's a four pin. It's connected to the motherboard. And before you're gonna move the processor, I'm gonna have to get a napkin and wipe down the whole thermal compound off because I don't wanna get my gloves. I'm gonna remove it. Just wipe it down. Lock it down first. Now I'm going to start up from the bottom to remove the, uh, the screws here. There are a total of three. Six, seven, eight, nine. Looks like total ten screws you have to remove. And then you're gonna lift up the motherboard, take your fingers like this, lift up like that, comes out. So here's the motherboard. Just wanna make sure and uh, remove the PCI brackets, It'll be the last part.
show you guys the front and the back. See you guys, this will be the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.